everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with Stock Swoosh and I'm here today to review BABA. Let's just take a look at what this did. So uh, yesterday it had a down day and actually I talked about this in the webinar last night. Yesterday should be the worst day that this has if you are still in the options for this out for September 9th. It should have been the worst day yesterday. Okay and what I wanted this to do yesterday was close above 95 which it did. It closed better than expected, 95.65. And in an ideal world, I saw it drop down yesterday. I wanted to close at 95. I wanted to gap up this morning and open at 95.50. And it closed over 95.50 and over 95. So that was a good sign. So then today, this morning, it actually opened at 95.59. Actually, that was a gap down, just seeing this. But this is a neutral. Neutral today in the gap. That's why it didn't really follow through in the rally today. I'm just seeing that now. But we actually closed over the close of yesterday, which is a good sign. We closed at 95.74. So tomorrow morning, we should get neutral or up in BABA, okay? Neutral or up, follow through. The next level that we really have to get over to get some momentum going in this is really 97. 97, 98, and after 98, we should never look back. But I was talking about this in the trading room today. When is it going to hit up over the level that I wanted to see? The ideal level. The reason I didn't take the trade out on the day after the earnings, which you could have. It had volatility. It had momentum. But I had the option out for so long and I paid up for it that I wouldn't have paid up for the option if I wouldn't want to hold it out to the next number. I would have gotten a, less of a price, got more contracts, paid less for the price, and got out the Friday, the day after I took it, which I took it here on the Thursday. I did it because I wanted the bigger move. The bigger move is where? Over 100, over the top of the high of the day of the IPO open. This is just a huge number of people. And it's not even coincidental that the high was 99.70 and it's 30 cents away from the $100 buy point. Okay, so which is like right here, there. That is really it. Wow. So today we just didn't follow through, but now I just saw here tonight that the reason we didn't follow through is because we actually did not gap up today very slight and very interesting and didn't even see that this morning and we were green today in the day and I wondered why we didn't hit over this area market was red into the close and that was part of it but not really so we'll see what we do but tomorrow we should open right around here or here in an ideal world we'd open up here here 95.79 oh that's one tick so we've got a lot of time left, and the reason I'm holding this is to get the second move. If you are in the option and you want to do the first quick move that I call in the trades in the rent room and in the ladder, then you just take it out of the first move. This is huge volatility, went to the dream target, up lots of money, do it. But if I had done this, I would have done it not out for as long as I did, a month or more. So I want the second move, and that's the one that's really going to get the going. And there's many different targets. But the bottom line is that I just don't see the stock breaking 95. In an ideal world, the stock does not break 95. Holds, holds in every day that it trades between now and the time that it goes. And the worst day was yesterday, and I don't think we see that again. And I was still leaving up money in it yesterday. This is, this is, I'm taking a risk, holding this for the next big move when the certain money, the absolute sure money, the definite money was the day that it actually ran up and went, the day after I took it in the option, because I took the option here. Boom. But, Sometimes, and every once in a while, and you don't do this every single trade, and you just don't. Not every single trade is the same. Not every gap is created equal. Not every gap rates the same. That's why I have a 26-point system, and the gap has to rate 20 points or more, so there's a six-point cushion. So highly rated gaps that rate higher than others are better quality gaps to warrant holding to better, to bigger targets or dream targets or with more risk. In the case of this, I kept my same risk but I am holding this to a bigger target for the secondary move. So in an ideal world, this stock actually has another gap up for a real reason, news generated or whatever it happens to be. And in an ideal world, it actually does the gap at 98 or 99 or even over 100 and runs. I'm not saying that's gonna happen tomorrow at all, but I'm saying it could trade, 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 trade up. And then all of a sudden one morning gap up, gap up to this area right about here and just go. Go, 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 and that would be amazing. And everyone in the world would be buying into this over 100 and more institutional money that even bought the gap. And I have so much conviction in the fact that really the gap itself, the gap that had the earnings gap, which was back here, even though it was red right on the day, was really a great place to go long. And that's why I went along the option on this day and then did the call. And it paid immediately huge. I just am holding it to the next movement. But it's just the point that this is a corrective gap. 
for, so the stock was not in, in an uptrend until this day. And on that day, the stock became in an immediate uptrend. Institutions were buying it. And this is why it's going to continue. So I got three weeks left. We'll see where it goes. Hang on to your skirts, everybody. This is a good one. Again, not all gaps are created equal. That's why if you actually, actually, actually learn, okay, the system, you will be able to decide. I call it perfect and not perfect. In fact, I'm coming out with a scale. I have to do the video soon. I'm coming out with a stock swoosh scale. It's going to be, I'm going to be using for the television show. It's a swoosh scale that everyone is going to see and it's going to be on the show and I'm going to say the different scales. This would be on the stock swoosh scale of five swooshes. I can't, I, should, I can't wait to tell everybody about this, but it would be five swooshes. This would be a five swoosh, okay? So you would, you would have seen this on the show, on the television show that's coming out soon. I would have said five swooshes. Five swooshes is perfect, okay? So perfect means perfect. Hold it to the dream target, which it went to as a day trade. Longer term trade, dream target too. So this would have been a five swoosh point scale system. Perfect. And that's why I'm in it. And the day that I took it actually, before it even did this, and I'll just go back one more thing and let everybody go. This thing here, on the day that I took it, and I said, I am not getting out of this trade until it hits over 100. That's my target. I'm not getting out of it until it hits over there. That's why I bought it out for so long, which I normally don't do. But I wanted to give myself the time and I paid out for it. I said, I'm not getting out of this to 100 or more, and that's it. And so I'm, I'm following my trading plan and I'm doing it, and we'll see what happens. So good luck, everyone. Good luck. Email me at melissathestockswish.com if you want more information. If you're in Baba, still with me, this isn't doing anything wrong. It's perfect. Beautiful, beautiful. Just notice that we actually did not gap up today, so it's fine the way it closed. Everything looks good. Neutral or gap up tomorrow in the open, probably, most likely. We'll see. And we'll see where we go. Have a good night, everyone. Email me at melissathestockswish.com if you want more information.